Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today, we not only are painting this super cool moon dog painting, but we also have Travis here to paint with us. Say hi, Travis. Hello. <laughs> He's a little nervous, but I'm gonna coach him through this. So, are you ready? I was born ready for okay. this. So we have these super fancy paint palettes right here. Really fancy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our paint from here onto our brushes and we're going to paint our canvas. So let's go over the colors. We have yellow, we have white, black, blue, red, and no purple because it's right here. <laughs> and I forgot it. So we're going to add some purple here. Let's see. That's a bowl. Purple is your favorite color, right? It's one of my top three. Okay, good. So we are going to add a whole bunch of purple instead of the blue onto this. So we also have these super awesome brushes here. We have three of them. We have this big daddy brush right here. And this is going to use our whole canvas background. And then we have these two smaller brushes. And this is what we're going to use for our dog and our grass, all right? We do have a little, little tiny baby brush right here. You see how cute that guy is? It's adorable. And he's going to be to sign our name and to kind of clean up our dog, okay? Okay. All right, so let's grab these big daddy brushes right here. You have this paper towel, wet your paper towel. And let's do this. So what I want you to do is grab some white and grab some yellow. Same time. Yeah, kind of mix them together a little bit. Don't be afraid to get messy with it. I'm all right? never afraid. So you've painted on canvas before. Once. I had once you come in. I had them come in and do a practice run. <laughs> That's probably smart. Just, just in case he was a little nervous. A lot of our friends at home get a little nervous too, so it's okay. They're probably gonna be nervous watching me. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with a circle, and I learned this in high school. So you start with a circle. Don't touch your canvas yet. And once you feel like you have a good circular motion going, then go ahead and put it on your canvas. And look, you have a great, perfect circle every time. This is brilliant. You got this. So I, gotta, I guess I gotta do this? Yeah, but make it a big one. Make it a nice big moon. All right. Our focus is the moon and the dog. My moon is way more yellow. It's okay. Just scoop up some white and you can add some white to it. Look at that moon. It's nice. You're doing good. It's easier than you thought, isn't it? Well, I mean, I am an artist. You are? Yeah. Well, you're a rapper. So right, right. Fun fact about Travis here is he is a side rapper, right? Right. Well, it's my passion, but... <laughs> but it is not his career. <laughs> it's not my career. Not yet, right? One day you'll be like out there doing all your professional rap tunes. One day, Master Maybe Peter like Paul. right here. Maybe you could rap an opening for me. I'll work on that. I got to get this painting down first. Whoa, your moon's way bigger. Yeah. Hold on, let me get let me get a little more circle moon in here. You're doing good. Ooh, look at that. That is good. Okay. It just floats in the sky. <laughs> you can rinse your brush off. Pretty moon. Yeah, it's not really circle, but that's okay. We'll come in and we'll like clean it up when we go to put the blue in. We're going to put it on the background. Mine's a blood moon. And it will kind of round out our whole little guy. Oops. All right, so we have purple and okay. we have blue. So I want you to grab some of this blue here. Grab some of this purple. You kind of mix it together onto the side here. And I want you to work your way up here. And just kind of go around and around. And don't forget about your sides, too. Your sides and your top. The sides are key. Yes, the sides are key for sure. So if you could see mine, where I kind of round it out here. And I just kind of go around the moon. Now I have a lot of blue in mine, so I'm going to scoop up a big amount of purple. Just going to slowly work it down towards the moon. Go around and around real slow. Do you see how I'm doing this? Yeah, I'm paying attention. Okay, good. I was getting these sides. Yeah, the sides are kind of important. Only because when we hang it up on our wall, 
then the sides are all covered and we don't have to worry about framing it. I know at my house I have like lots of paintings on our wall, so what I do is I swap them out. Sometimes I have like the kids paintings and I'll swap them out the same way at our studio. So if you're at home painting along because you're a dog lover like me, Travis loves dogs too, right? Absolutely. He has a Doberman, right? Correct. How do you say Doberman? Do you say Doberman or Doberman? Dober. Well, I feel like it's Dober, so I'm just going to call it a Doberman. It is a Doberman. Apparently, I have a weird accent is what I'm told numerous times. Um, I say things like coleslaw, <laughs> which is how you say it, coleslaw, and bagel. That's a normal way, but apparently it's not. And there was another one, and I don't remember which what it was, but there's a couple other things that I say kind of weirdly per my family. Hey, I have a Halloween question for you. Yeah. If you could be any color crayon, what would you be? Well, and why? Well, <laughs> I would definitely not be a blue crayon. But I would be a purple one because purple is my favorite color. What color would you be? I feel like it would be kind of orange, you know, because sometimes I can be a little out there just really stand out in a crowd oh you think orange stands out in a crowd well i mean if you're a bears fan it does <laughs> yes yes it's true all right make sure you go all the way down to the bottom well i feel like if you're a bears fan it's not because then you're all in orange no it's orange and blue. it's like a browns fan like you go to the cleveland Browns stadium and you're all in orange and nobody stands out but if you show up in other colors like if I went to a Bears game in purple and yellow, they'd be like, whoa, look at that guy. They think you're a Vikings fan. Yeah, and then I'd be sad. No, going to Browns games in other colors. You just not go to Browns games. I do not go to Browns games, no. I, I really went with my brothers a couple years ago, um, and my husband and my sister-in-laws, and it was... It was kind of tiring because it was cold and I don't like cold. And then it was, um, I ran over a glass bottle in the parking lot and it popped my tire. It cost me $25 to get it fixed. And I just feel like it wasn't a good time. I mean, hanging out with my family was, but. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, that doesn't sound like a 10. Right, it wasn't a 10. All right, so we should be just about finished with our background. Is it too much blue? I think it's good. No, I think it's good. And then I want you to lay it to its side like this and hit the bottom like this. So that way when you hang it up on your wall, I'm assuming that you're going to. <laughs> yeah. Unless you give it to somebody. You could like donate it. I'm going to so. give it to my dog as a, sh a show of respect for him. <laughs> so <laughs> you should hear his dog's name. What's your dog's name? Sir Lucius Leftfoot. Sir Lucius left foot. He's regal. <laughs> All right. Okay. He's sweet, though. He's a big ball of fun. Yeah. Oh, I just got paint on the floor. Ugh. And he loves me. If you get paint on the floor, just let me know so when we're all done here, I can wipe that up. Yeah, I'm not messy, so. <sighs> okay. So you got to put your bottom part on, the black. You gotta add black. See yeah, how I'm, I added black? I'm getting on it. All right. Right now. You're a little uh, yeah, I was, steps behind me. I was thinking about my dog, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I don't want to rush you, but. We're time limited, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Look at that. That does look it's good. It's just bringing yeah. the, the depth all together. Yes. It looks good. So I'm gonna rinse my brush out real good because I don't want to add. Um, any black to the white that I'm about to put around the moon. So you can go ahead and rinse your brush out real good and rub it on the bottom of the cup just to move those bristles around. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to grab our Big Daddy brush again, grab some of this white, a little bit more of that yellow, and we're just going to go around the moon real lightly and make like a halo. Did you say you grabbed some yellow too? Yeah, just a real little bit though. Oh no. 
Did you add a lot? No. That's okay if you did. Look I just at mine. Little, I just had a little blue. That's okay. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> okay too. You get crazy there, Moon. <laughs> it's okay. This is my Moon. It is. It looks great. I'll add a little bit more too, just you so know, you don't feel like left out. I am a much better painter than I had envisioned myself growing up. Really? Yeah. What did you want to be when you like grew up? Did you want to be an artist? No, at first I wanted to be a professional athlete. Oh. The then I realized I was not going to be, so no. I got into the rap game, if you will. The rap game. And then you realized that wasn't going to work out, so you became an, account an accountant. Well, <laughs> Why did I almost here's say that, like in a weird voice? Well, here's what really happened. Um, I had a lot of plans. And I just didn't follow through on them, so I, I had to go for what was there. That's okay. So that's what happened with me, too. My boss loves me, though, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> our, our favorite local accountant here in Wadsworth, right? I feel like I need more. I need to add more to my moon, too. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah, I mean, it could use a little yeah, more. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It right could here. use a happy face. No, we're not putting happy faces. I mean, unless you really want to, you can. I don't, but. Okay. I'm going to add a whole bunch down here, too, right. just because I want to lighten this up for when I put the dog on there. We have, like, a nice, glowy moon here. You're doing great. It's kind of like how I feel in the morning. I just glow, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when you're crunching numbers with your 10 key. I feel like the center of my moon is really just bland, but I'm going to deal with it. So what you can do is clean off your brush real good. No, oops, oops. no, what are you doing? Hold on, I was fixing this you're, moon. You're not following directions. Sorry. It's okay, it's your painting. There we go. I want you to get fancy with it anyway. So what you can do is you can take your... <laughs> I can't even look at this. I feel like he purposely messed this up. I did not. I, okay. I didn't know the purple was there. Okay. All right, so... We, what we can do is if you don't like your moon or you want to make it a little bit of like an orangish color, you can grab a little bit of that red and mix it in with a little bit of the white and yellow that you put to the side here and just add it and it'll make it look like there's craters. I'm going to grab some more yellow, kind of throw that yellow on there and then we're going to stop working on our moon because we need this guy to dry. If this guy does not dry, then we can't put our little soldier dog on there, our little moon dog on there. So you see how that, <laughs> oh my goodness. This did not go as planned, but hey. It's okay, a little bit of paint goes a long way. Yeah, I've, I've realized, you know, my blending technique is not up to par yet. It's okay. But uh, I'm just gonna pretend it's one of those hunter's moons, a little more red. Oh yeah, yeah, like a nice fall moon. Yeah. Those are perfect right now. Perfect for the dog to sit and watch. Yeah. Oh, my moon is not straight. Um, so it's hard to paint to the side, too. I just got some paint on the floor, just to That's let you know. Okay. I'll, get, I'll take care of it. So it's really hard for us to paint to the side also, but I'm going to round this moon well, out But when you're left-handed, you got to go sideways. And you're left-handed, too. I have a lot of, lot of left-handed people um, that come in and paint. I had... Maybe it was just Drew, the other left-handed. That was on a couple shows before. We did a dragonfly and kind of like a big moon like this. This is probably going in the Guggenheim. <laughs> no, I think it looks great. I'm I think you just need to... I'm in love with it. Okay, <laughs> all right. As long as you're in love with it. So this is a good time for our friends at home to like go let the dog out. My mom has a sign on her door that says, who let the dogs out, because she has dogs. That's kind of funny. Every time I read it, I kind of laugh. They can go make a cup of coffee, you know, all kinds of fun things at this moment. And we are just going to let our paintings dry. It, hey, takes, it takes a minute. I feel like I've done this before. And when you have a lot of paint on it, um, then it takes even longer to dry. If you are at home and you don't want to be patient and just let yours dry, what you can do is grab a blow dryer and you can blow dry it or hold it in front of a fan. I need to work oh. on my circle technique. That's okay. My moon is not very circular. I could have cut him out a moon. I did make a little stencil for you though. 
Wow, that's real Mooney. Here's a little stencil for him because I didn't want him to be too nervous being on the show the first time, and I wanted him to really have a Doberman and not a black blob. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you can like put this here. Just glue Once it on. We, well, we're not going to glue it on, but yours is still really wet. So let's switch brushes here. Let's go to this little guy. Here, let me dry it off for you. Give me that big guy. Thanks. Let's grab this. And then grab some black. And I just want you to kind of brush up a little bit like this. We're going to make some grass along the side. Okay. Perfect. And you want to kind of like throw some black down here too. Just to kind of blend it all in together. Do the same thing here. Blend that in. You can add some more black down here if you need to. And then we have a tree. So if you look on here, we actually have a tree. Bring it in here and throw some branches on there. Now I know I paint a little bit faster than you, and that's okay. Just take your time. If your background isn't wet, or if your background is still wet, you can just hold off on putting the tree on there if you want. So next week I'm trying to do a fun little Halloween show. I think I'm going to go get my kid out of school early and make them come and do it with me. So I'm going to rinse that brush off again and I am going to grab some red. I have this real pretty fire red right here. Actually I use bright red. And I'm just going to add some leaves on here. Nice red leaves. And it's okay if you're not there yet, Travis. We can kind of hang out there. I'm all the way there. Do your, your tree thing. Let it dry a little bit. You don't have to put this on. Sometimes. And and once you feel like you've got enough on there, then definitely walk away from it. Don't, don't over add. That's good. Let it dry or you're just going to be mixed together. So I do have chalk for you too if you're kind of nervous about going around it with a brush. This little guy here. Sir Lucius, that's what we'll name your Doverman. And we can put this on here, and then we can kind of outline it real fast. Huh. Now I'm not worried about the paws down here. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess up your stencil, but I did. There you go. I'll patiently wait. So I have a boxer at home, and I even thought about like just making mine a boxer, but I thought, nah, we'll all do a Doberman. A Doberman. It's a B. <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, I'll give you this good round brush. We're going to use that round brush again. So if you have your round brush, definitely get that out. I'll get yours all ready for you. So when you're ready to do this, perfect. That looks fantastic. We're painting black right inside there. Thank you. So we're going to take this cute little round brush. And I want you to take the black and roll your brush through the black in order to get a good point on it. So you should have a really good point on your, on your little brush. And what I want you to do is just like you're outlining, you can do this, kind of trace its foot over here. I'm not overly worried about down here just because I'm just going to highlight it with some white. There we go. I even got you a cropped ear, Doberman. 
I appreciate that. I think my dog likes his ears cropped. You do? I think, so I've heard so many mixed things about it. My boxer does not have her ears cropped, um, but she does have her tail docked. And I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. Like some people say it's better for their ears to be docked or it's healthy for them. Or sometimes like somebody told me that boxers have to have their tails docked because their balance is off and they're hunting dogs. And I'm like, really? So I don't know if all that's true or not. But either way, I love dogs if they have their ears cropped or not. I used to have a beautiful Rottweiler. If I could get a Rotty, I would get a Rotty right now. But I had the best rat. Oh, we're going inside now? Yeah, yeah, paint inside that guy. Perfect. And then we're just going to do a little bit of highlighting action, which will then just kind of clean up our little pup here. Kind of looks like a cat. Meow. It does. <laughs> it does. It's all right. It's Halloween. I it have can, be, can be whatever it wants. I have a really, I have a cat. I have two cats. I have one cat who loves to drink paint water, so I can't leave any paint water out because he will literally drink it all. And then I have another cat who likes to knock over the paint water. And what he does too, oh no, the one that likes to drink um, paint water will get into plant water too. So if there's like roses or flowers, I buy myself a lot of fresh flowers. <laughs> Apparently I feel like I need them. But I'll put them on the table and the cat will come over and like stick its paw in or just completely knock the vase over. So, And then the one cat, he lives outside and he's a white cat, big white fluffy cat that I bought. And he had PTSD even talking about him because he's kind of crazy. His name's Buddha and he attacks me all the time. <laughs> and I'm like his slave. Doesn't sound very Buddha-like. I know, I'm like a slave. So he comes walking up. Right now he's got a burr in his tail because he runs around outside and I can't get that burr out. He won't let me get to him to get the burr out. So I'm probably just gonna end up dying later from him because he is vicious, but he's so cute. And he always wants to ride in the car. He's kind of like a dog. He should change his name to Burberry. Oh, maybe. Feel All like right, that. I'm going to take some black and I'm going to mix it with my white, whatever's left on my brush. And then I'm just going to kind of highlight this guy, okay? Oh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah, you see that? Just real lightly, I kind of play with the sides here. Just add a nice little outline. This is a... Uh this is where I fail. Why? You're doing good. It's the... Uh, no, that's perfect. The steady hand. Oh, it doesn't even have to be even. Look. See wow. how uneven mine is? That's why I'm not a surgeon. Yeah, no, you're doing good. It's all right, Lou. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> it's not the sun. That's the moon. <laughs> well, mine's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> You've changed it. So now it's... Soon light dog. Soon light. Sunlight dog. <laughs> what the heck? All right, I'm going to rinse that brush off real, real good, and I'm going to come in. And I just want to add a little bit more grass down here, too. Now, you don't have to do this to yours. You've got a great amount of grass there. So I just really want to add some little bit more detail here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So for anyone at home that's painting along Can't with us, it. please, please, please send me your pictures. I love to see them. That's looking good. I can't help it. I'm just talented. <laughs> You're doing a great job. But I would love to see all your pictures so we could post them on our Facebook page. We could post them um, on the TV channel's Facebook page. All kinds of fun stuff here. How thick my branches are. I know, but okay. That's all right. It's a, so it's when a big you tree. do tree branches, I'm going to show you this cute little magic trick here, okay? It's almost like cursive writing. So when you do tree branches, you don't want to do them like this. And you don't want to use the side of your brush. See how I'm using the side of my brush? So what you want to do is, let me get a little bit more paint on here for our friends to see. 
It's almost like cursive writing. Oh, uh, okay. See that? And see with that I'm just bringing it all down into one. Then I just kind of like work off that. So do you see how it's more of like a cursive writing instead of this? This is what they teach you in kindergarten, Travis. I have barely graduated from there, so it's all good. <laughs> so do them like this. And then when you come down to the bottom, then you can kind of thicken it out. This would have just been a really good tip before I made my tip. Well, you just branches. started going into it. And so I figured I might as well just. Well, I was behind, so I was trying to catch up. I know, up. I know. I just, but it's all right. Okay, are you happy with yours? I mean. Okay, so this is what I want you to do, Travis. Drop that brush in there. Couldn't have asked I want for you to more. grab this little guy right here. All right. I want you to roll that little guy through the white real lightly. And then this is what you're going to do. You're going to own that painting. You are officially an artist. <laughs> Don't I know it. All of our friends at home, grab your little tiny brush. Let's go ahead and initial this guy right here. Own it. Show it off. And be super proud of your artwork. And until next time, send us your paintings so that we could see them all. Thank you all for watching. Say bye to Travis. Bye to Travis. <laughs>